David, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. I'm excited to talk to you because there's so much going on in the world of healthcare, personalized medicine, and technology. And Linus Health is one of these companies that you guys are making personalized brain health a reality. So what does that mean? What is, what is Linus Health? Well, uh, Linus Health, as you said, is a, is a brain health company that uh, we're really bringing to bear um, the best in science and medicine um, that for so long wasn't translatable uh, to, to a broader audience. And so it really depended on where you lived uh, to get access to the best uh, in brain health care. Um, so we're using the latest technologies to increase access to the best in brain health care. And we do that by basically using very classic or you know, very established um, neuropsychological assessment, um, but we break it down into components and then breaking down that behavior into discrete signals. And then we use, we use machine learning to understand what signals are relevant. And then we built AI models to really assess uh, the person while they're taking the assessment. And so we map that back onto brain function so we can get a really good understanding of how an individual's brain is working or uh, in, some, in some cases, unfortunately, where it's starting to not work or starting to have some dysfunction. And then we use the, the latest in science through eng to recommendation engines to really pinpoint what can you do about the potential uh, onset of some kind of uh, brain health disorder and really monitor, go with the uh, person uh, to really on that journey to optimize their brain health and, and really live the life that they wanna live um, with, with all things considered. So we're, we're really excited uh, to enable uh, the whole world to access the best in brain health care. So as you mentioned, you are you know focused on Alzheimer's, dementia, like which makes sense. Um, so if I was starting to develop early signs of dementia is that when you want to leverage your platform and like like how does it work from the end user like perspective sure great question so in dementia which as i mentioned we, we're starting there uh because the the demand and the need and you know also people you know the biggest risk of dementia is age and um you know it's i would say among the cruelest of diseases because it, it robs people of their person and at the end of our lives, you know, to not remember who we are and who our loved ones are is incredibly cruel. And that is, you know, we're not going to be able to make people live forever. Um, but we really want, at the end of their days, them to really know uh, what's going on, to be with their loved ones, to really understand their person and their journey in life. Um, so we really want to equate health span to lifespan. In order to do that, uh, we have to get, much like cancer and other uh, chronic diseases, um, we have to get in as early as possible to understand that this is the potential, um, they're at risk, uh, and it's already starting to happen even though it's not detected. And so um, our assessment, especially uh, the, the, the clock, uh, the digital clock, which is a, an award-winning assessment. It's incredible. It was uh, the original clock drawing test was developed in Boston about 50 years ago by Edith Kaplan. And it has since been digitized in around 2005. And a lot of work's been done on it since. And uh, it was just shown this year, earlier this year, uh, from researchers at Mass General Hospital that the clock was the most sensitive thing they've analyzed that could detect the pathology or the, the presence of amyloid uh, uh, plaques, which are you know, the, the marker for Alzheimer's disease, we could detect it uh, before any symptoms were shown. And so we beat even neuropsychological assessment and classic tests, and we can do it in two minutes. And those take 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and so being able to, to detect is, is the beginning of the, um, of the mission. Uh, of the requirements, we, we need to be able to have very high sensitivity. And then if we can get before they start showing symptoms, we can make the recommendations, um, you know, both uh, physics-based interactions, pharmacological interactions, and life uh, and health decisions, you know, changing uh, lifestyle, all of which have shown 
the potential to, to modify the disease course. Um, Alzheimer's, the treatments have a long way to go. We know there's a lot of news about it, um, but I am full of optimism about the things in uh, the pipeline, not only the pharmacological uh, agents, but especially these physics-based agents, these non-invasive, which is actually Alvaro, Alvaro's background is in transcranial uh, stimulation. So he was the pioneer of repetitive uh, TMS or transcranial magnetic stimulation. He's moving into transcranial current stimulation. They're doing incredible things. We look up his work. Um, so we're combining multi-prong like the lifestyle because our behavior is an expression of our brain. And so if we modify our behavior, that's it, it actually is a two-way street. It goes back and it, it improves our brain health, you know, more exercise, purpose in life, socialization, uh, you know, watching, you know, having cognitive challenge, um, you know, just really taking care of our health has a big effect on our brain. Uh, and again, of course, those other two interventions. So we really take a multi-pronged approach to optimizing brain health. And it all begins with early detection and understanding of what the signals are we're seeing and what can we do about it. Such amazing work. Like, like, like as you mentioned, most people, if not all, can relate, whether it's a family member or friends that you know struggle with things like this. Uh, and if we can detect it early and address it, then obviously um, great things will hopefully happen. And, at the end. So let's talk about the, the company today. Like um, where are you at as far as the stage of the company, uh, funding, number of employees, whatever you can share? Sure. So um, where we're at today is uh, we're launching our, we're, our, our new enhanced clinical product, which I'm incredibly excited about. And we have an incredible roadmap that is just, it's revolutionary. And I, I can't wait till uh, we get to announce it to the world in the coming quarter. And um, so as far as uh, funding, we, we completed our Series B. Uh, we're substantially resourced. We have incredible, passionate uh, investors who are uh, mission aligned, uh, impact oriented, and very uh, proven in success of uh, biotech and technology. Um, so we're excited about our resourcing as far as our, uh, uh, the number of uh, teammates we have. I think we're approaching 75. Um, and the team is something I'm most proud of, uh, that we could really assemble some of the smartest people I've ever met. They're so driven, so passionate, and they just um, are so professional. And uh, it's really great to see, because I've worked in a lot of different industries, in the tech industry, in the healthcare industry, but to be able to get a blend of the best of both worlds has been incredible. And so we have this multidisciplinary team. Every, everyone's a craftsman. They, they really know their craft um, and they just contribute and we're aligned for the good. So I'm really uh, excited about our team and to continue building uh, with values aligned teammates uh, and not, not um, as lip service, but actually they, they live it. And we even incentivize that. We encourage that, you know, living out our values and, uh, really accomplishing the mission to really hold ourselves accountable, hold each other accountable. Um, that's the kind of team culture we have. Uh, now, as far as the plans ahead, what, like, what are your plans for hiring moving forward? So we're, we're planning to continue to hire. I mean, we've, uh, we've grown substantially. I think we've uh, been maybe 30 people in the last uh, two quarters. And, um, we continue to hire uh, best engineers, uh, data scientists, uh, and we're really moving toward uh, building up our, our sales machine. So sales and marketing hires will be big in 2022. Uh, we really just want to get our distribution out as widely as possible, not just in the U.S., not in the, the top markets, but we have actually a great um, connections with uh, lower and middle income countries. And because of the software, we can push it out and we've already translated into probably a dozen languages um, so we're really uh, driven to not only serve uh, North America but 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 the world um, one because we want to give them access to to the best uh, health care especially brain health care but two we want to make sure that our data uh, is is unbiased and it is collected on so many people so that we can serve everyone. Uh, we don't want a biased data set. And so really we're driven to serve every community. 
Um, and so that, you know, because it does, the science shows it. It's not a political thing. It's, it's the science actually shows that you need to diversify your data set. So you're making sure you're delivering the best health care information to, to every patient. Um, so that's, that's a big drive of ours. So we have great stuff happening in Europe, happening in Asia, South America, and we're continuing to expand even the Caribbean. We're super excited about. Um, so that's, that's, we have an ambitious hiring schedule ahead. Now, there is a very uh, competitive job market out there. There's lots of options for people for the top talent out there. So um, why is now the ideal time to join Linus Health? I think we're very competitive as far as, um, you know, uh, compensation. We don't want people thinking about compensation. You know, they, we, we do what we can to, to make sure that th those things are addressed. We want to be fair with everyone. And uh, we really want people who are passionate about the mission. So if, they're, if those needs are met, it's really about, do you care about brain health? Do you care about access to health care? And do you, you know, the health, um, you know, really making a difference uh, in people's lives all over the world is a, is, a, is a major thing for us. And I think that is, for, if that resonates with people, Linus Health is the, is the place to be because that's what we're about. Well, there's definitely a lot of great companies out there doing very meaningful mission-driven work, but then there's a whole different plateau of other companies that I completely admire, Linus Health being one of them. Uh, you know, I personally have family members that have struggled with this, so if we could detect things early and solve these issues and let them live the life that they deserve to live, this is a company I would want to help build. So you need to go check out their job listings on VentureFizz. Go to VentureFizz.com backslash uh, Linus Health, and you'll see all their listings there. David, thanks so much for taking the time to walk us through all the great things happening at the company. Thanks again for having me, Keith. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. At VentureFizz, our mission is to share the stories of companies, their people, and culture. So if you're interested in more interviews with founders and executives in the tech industry, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.